Let's discuss some common problems we can come across when performing cleaning and shaping of a root canal. The first problem we'll discuss is canal blockage. Canal blockage typically occurs due to the unintended packing of dentinal debris in the middle and apical portions of the root canal during the process of shaping. To prevent this issue, there are several things we can do. First and foremost, it's essential to start with smaller sized instruments such as size 10 or size 8 K files. These instruments are better suited for initial procedures to minimize the risk of blockage. Using instruments in a sequential order is another important practice. This ensures that you maintain a systematic approach to canal preparation, reducing the likelihood of debris packing. Another step that helps in prevention of canal blockage is to always pre-curve stainless steel hand instruments. This pre-curving helps to navigate the canal effectively. It's also important to use reproducible reference points and stable silicon stoppers on the instruments during the cleaning and shaping process. These aids ensure precision and consistency in your work. Maintaining a wet canal is needed for effective debris removal. So, we should use a large amount of irrigant during the procedure. This not only helps with debris removal, but also helps in keeping the canal clear and lubricated. Recapitulation is very important. In cases of blockage, smaller sized instruments can be used to dislodge the debris, and the canal should be flushed again before moving on to the next phase of cleaning and shaping. These precautions and practices are needed for the prevention of canal blockage, ensuring a successful root canal treatment. Root canal anatomy is inherently complex, characterized by multiplanar curves, and doesn't align with the simplified depiction seen in radiographs. One of the most frequently encountered mistakes made by operators while shaping root canals is unintentionally deviating from the canal's natural anatomical course. There are three main errors in this category, ledge formation, transportation, and zipping. In the context of endodontic treatment, a ledge is defined as an artificially created deviation of the root canal wall that prevents the passage of an instrument to the apex of an otherwise patent canal. Several factors can lead to the occurrence of ledging in root canal procedures. One common issue is not adequately extending the access cavity, which can limit the smooth entry of shaping instruments into the root canal. Losing control of the instrument can also happen when attempting endodontic treatment through a proximal surface cavity or an existing proximal restoration. Moreover, an incorrect assessment of the root canal curvature or wrong root canal length determination can result in ledging. Forcing and driving the instrument into the canal, especially when using a non-curved stainless steel instrument that is too large for a curved canal, can contribute to this problem. It's important to use instruments in a sequential order and avoid overusing a reaming action by rotating the file at the working length. Insufficient irrigation and lubrication during instrumentation, as well as an excessive reliance on chelating agents, are other factors to consider. Trying to retrieve broken instruments, removing root filling materials during endodontic retreatment, and attempting to prepare calcified root canals can also lead to ledging. Furthermore, inadvertent packing of debris in the apical portion of the canal during instrumentation, effectively creating an apical blockage, is another common cause of ledging in root canal procedures. Being mindful of these factors and taking appropriate precautions is essential to prevent ledging and ensure successful root canal treatment. To prevent the formation of ledges during root canal procedures, we have a few measures that can be taken. Before starting with the cleaning and shaping process, it's essential to take a pre-operative radiograph to assess and anticipate any unusual root canal curvature. Throughout the procedure, it is important to maintain canal patency, and a recommended method to achieve this is to practice recapitulation with smaller instruments between each change of instrument, which will prevent the development of ledges. Another important guideline is to work passively 
avoiding any unnecessary force when handling the instruments within the canal. It's critical to never force an instrument apically. If resistance is felt, it's essential to investigate whether there might be a blockage due to other underlying causes. Lastly, working sequentially by gradually increasing the sizes of instruments without making sudden jumps to larger numbers is a good approach to minimize the risk of ledge formation, ensuring a smoother and more successful root canal procedure. Transportation and root canal procedures can be described as follows. When the instrument stays within the root canal's boundaries, an elliptical preparation will lead to an internal shift of the foramen. However, if the instrument extends beyond the root canal's boundaries, it will cause an external shift of the foramen. To understand this better, look at the diagram. Alright, that's it for this video. Let's do a quick recap. Canal blockage typically occurs due to the unintended packing of dentinal debris in the middle and apical portions of the root canal during the process of shaping. Using instruments in a sequential order ensures that you maintain a systematic approach to canal preparation, reducing the likelihood of debris packing. Another step that helps in prevention of canal blockage is to always pre-curve stainless steel hand instruments. This pre-curving helps to navigate the canal effectively. In cases of blockage, smaller sized instruments can be used to dislodge the debris and the canal should be flushed again before moving on to the next phase of cleaning and shaping. Root canal anatomy is inherently complex, characterized by multiplanar curves and doesn't align with the simplified depiction seen in radiographs. One of the most frequently encountered mistakes made by operators while shaping root canals is unintentionally deviating from the canal's natural anatomical course. In the context of endodontic treatment, a ledge is defined as an artificially created deviation of the root canal wall that prevents the passage of an instrument to the apex of an otherwise patent canal. Transportation in root canal procedures can be described as follows. When the instrument stays within the root canal's boundaries, an elliptical preparation will lead to an internal shift of the foramen. However, if the instrument extends beyond the root canal's boundaries, it will cause an external shift of the foramen. Make taught well your study buddy to learn anytime, anywhere without carrying a load of books with you. Sign up now and get a free trial.